Hello and welcome to a very informal little video where I'd just like to talk a moment about places to play with your code and try things out and run them. In lots of exercises uh, and especially in quiz questions I tend to say things like you might want to try this one out in a console. What do I mean by in a console? Where are places that you can just try your code and run it. Um, well, I want to show you quite a few, if that's OK, but only very briefly. Now, the first one I'm going to mention is kind of one that I've built, uh, which is you might notice that in lots of the kind of live slides that I've got, there's occasions where there are these little sorts of programming areas. And so these are designed so that you can start typing into them. Let A equals 2. Uh, let B equals two times A and uh, let me go print learn of B. And so if I now run that, it will print out four down here. So I, I, I can write things out and I can call my little print learn function, remembering that print learn isn't actually part of the JavaScript environment. Typically, it's something that I've added to be able to print to this bit down on screen. But you might want instead to evaluate an expression or to do something directly just in your browser's own system in native JavaScript rather than the few little things that I do do to your code behind the scenes in this one. Um, now, most browsers have develop developer tools built into them. Uh, we'll see some of these a bit later on. Um, but let me go add ex open them for the moment. So if I go more tools, developer tools or control shift I, it will open up over here a console and I can clear the messages that my, my, my page has put into here. And in here, I can type and evaluate raw JavaScript as your browser would interpret it. So I can say let A equal 2, uh, let B equals 2 times A. And I can even do things like as soon as I'm typing B, it's, well, it's kind of trying to highlight what the answer is. Um, but I can also do uh, kind of more, uh, well, I could do console.log, which is a native way of printing out to this area that you can run anywhere. So console.log of B, and here comes B. Um, but these areas in modern browsers, they're also quite high powered. And so um, later on, we'll have a little bit of a look at stuff that's going on in HTML. But one of the things we'll see uh, is if I was to um, start asking it about things actually in the document, I can go document.query selector and let me get, um, yeah, let me get the render, the element that I happen to know is in the page that has the ID uh, render here. And so it's talking about a particular element in the page and you can see it's highlighting where it is on the page. And as soon as I hit enter, um, well, it hasn't just printed, um, uh, evaluated the expression. It's evaluated in a way that I can kind of open it up and explore it and have a look at what's going on in there. OK, that's HTML that we've not met yet. Um, but, so that is to say that these um, these browser consoles these days are quite high powered. Um, now, the, the way they tend to work is, is what's called a read eval print loop or a REPL uh, because you type your code and it reads it and it evaluates it and it prints out the result of it and it loops around as you then write out the next expression. Uh, so it's kind of a particular way of working. But maybe you want to uh, try your code in a way that's a little bit more like it's in a file so that you can, um, you know, if, if I wanted to modify let b equals to something else, it's going to, um, uh, well, OK, it'll be, uh, actually, that was OK for the moment. But there, there, there's some things that uh, where it will uh, be a little bit constraining because it's got the full history of everything that you've de uh, defined before rather than just what you're doing um, uh, on this particular execution. Uh, so if you want to work more in a bit of a JavaScript file sort of way, uh, there's one here which is called Repelet. Again, read eval print loop uh, is where it gets the name from. Um, there's lots of these environments and they work in a fairly similar way. Over here I've got where I can type up my JavaScript file, uh, console.log of hello world. And in this case, uh, it's if I hit run, rather than run it natively in my browser, it's actually going to send it off to a server where they're running node.js, which is a, a JavaScript environment that they can run on their servers and it'll send back, send back the result. But nonetheless, I have been able to execute uh, my code and have the output uh, logged nicely to a console. Um, generally speaking, when you create one of these, it will generate 
a random name for you. Equatorial Courteous Cold Fusion. That is so that you can share the link uh, with someone else. You can kind of treat these as little disposable environments for, uh, for typing things up in, but you can share them with other people and they can see what you wrote in that one. And if you create a new one, it'll generate a new one with a, another random but perhaps memorable name. Uh, OK, so that is that one um, that uh, basically has index.js and a console that it prints out to. Uh, if you're after one that um, kind of lets you work a little bit more like a web developer, um, there's uh, well, there's one called JS Fiddle that um, that we can come across, uh, which uh, if you start it, it might look a little bit like this. And so you've got particular areas. You've got an area for some HTML. We've not really met HTML yet. We've got an area for CSS. This is how to style, how to make your HTML look. We've not really met that yet. Uh, but you've got an area down here for your JavaScript. Uh, but if I was to go console.log of hello world in this one, and if I was to hit run, um, well, it looks like nothing's happened. The reason it looks like nothing has happened is that this is designed mostly for web developers. So actually what it's showing you in this area is this is what your HTML document looks like when it's rendered. If you want to get to the console, it's down here. And I open that up and sure enough, there it is. There is hello world. Um, fairly similar to that is one called CodePen. Again, we've got HTML area, a CSS style sheet area, a JavaScript area. And again, as you start off looking at it, if you were to go console.log of hello world and you were to let it run that, um, well, it looks like nothing's changed. And that's because, again, it's, it's wanting to put at the front the HTML. And we're not really doing HTML yet. We're doing JavaScript and programming. Uh, but if I want to have a look at what's going on on the console, I can open it up and there is my hello world. Another one that's really quite nice later on um, is Code Sandbox. The thing I like about this one, uh, if you go to Code Sandbox and you create a vanilla JavaScript project, uh, so that means not using some fancy framework, just vanilla JavaScript, uh, it might look a little bit like this. Uh, now, whereas... Um, these ones, they've just got areas in here for you to type your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript. Uh, Code Sandbox lays it out like a file tree. And so you can kind of quickly see, okay, this is what these files would look like on disk if I was doing it on my computer. Here is my index.html file. Here is where it is loading my JavaScript file. Here is my JavaScript file uh, that I can put stuff into. Um, here is my styles, CSS. Here in my HTML file is um, uh, a div that's got an ID. And you'll notice that's not in there. But if I open up the index.jss, you'll see, well, here's the bit of code that it ran that has printed that out into the document. Again, it's giving the HTML output uh, primacy. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could go, I would like to go console.log of hello world and let me save that i'm just gonna hit control s and save that and down here one well there is my console.log so this is another environment that you can do javascript programming that is a little bit more like you had files on your disk and were loading it up in a server we've got other ways that you can actually do that later on where you can actually put them onto um, a, 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 a server and start serving them up and writing interesting things um, but for the moment it might be more accessible just to to, to go through these kind of different um, more accessible programming environments.